Hi hotties, welcome back to like 2015 YouTube when everyone posts favorites videos. I was living for that. I ate that sh up. <laughs> um, wow, it's been seven years since then. I love listening to people talk about things they love, so I thought I would contribute to that. And I did do like a favorites video, like an ultimate favorites video, almost a year ago. And I would say like this stuff, it's just adding to the list. I still stand by most of the stuff that I mentioned in that other video. I also just did like a clothing favorites, uh, but I wanted to kind of also bring in like beauty, lifestyle, all of that. Don't get it twisted. I am a fashion girl. So you know that there's a lot of clothing items in here as well <laughs> I saw this really funny DM the other day and it said if you don't post your favorites video soon So I can base my whole personality off of that. I will combust and that made me laugh. So <laughs> The first piece is this leather jacket and I have been living in this. Whenever I'm in a pinch, I just need to go out. I will always put this on and I know I will look good and I will feel good. I think it's because of the cut. It doesn't go too far down. Like it kind of hits at like my hip area. Before when I go for jackets, it would kind of be like on the bigger side, like it would kind of end mid thigh. And I like that look, uh, but since I am like shorter, I feel like when it hits there, it kind of like makes me look even shorter than I am. Sometimes I want to feel like a long-legged baddie and uh, I feel like when it hits like at my hip area makes the illusion of my legs being not like two inches long. <laughs> I actually preferred wearing it zipped up because I think it kind of has like a really sleek look um, because I don't know, I like the embroidery and then the collars look so nice. Like I feel like a professional, but it's also kind of like streetwear, I guess. It's a little bit more casual, not just like a leather jacket. These two pairs of jeans have been my go-to. And if you have been like an OG subscriber of mine, you know I have been wearing the Brandy Melville like 90s i forget what it's called those jeans like every day for two years and i finally retired those i wear these now <laughs> or this one i feel like i've worn that silhouette so many times that i just like kind of need something different and these were really reminiscent of the like vintage levi's that a lot of people wear i have been trying to thrift them for years i could just not find them so i'm really lucky i found a comparable one i just like the way that it sits on like my waist like slash my hips and it's like the perfect amount of low waist but it's not like oh my coochie's out or like my ass is gonna be like out you know it has a very relaxed fit on the legs and this one's really similar even though it's like a different brand um but i also have these ones that are just a different wash i'm trying to spice things up speaking of denim i've been loving denim on denim it's been my go-to outfit when i'm trying to like trying to act like a cool girl and um i just don't want to like look like i'm trying too hard or i just like don't want to use my brain too much this halter top oh we love her we love her so much i love the way that halter tops like fit and i just like kind of love the vibes <laughs> that it exudes and i think with like a really tight uh top and like a really baggy bottom you really can't go wrong with little top big pants i know some people are really like against denim on denim but I like it, so I'm gonna wear it. And people can just be mad, I guess. These next pants are a little bit out there, but I love them. I would say that they're parachute pants. Like, they're pretty big, like they do not, like they're not supposed to fit your waist. Like you're supposed to like tie them and then you like literally look like a parachute on the bottom. But I love the way that they look and the sound is kind of fun. I would say it is slightly obnoxious, but it's also like, well, I feel cute in these pants, so I guess people could just look at me anyways, right? I saw Bella Hadid wear a pair of these. She had the brown ones, so you bet your ass I bought the brown ones. I feel like this is my equivalent to like being a sneakerhead because I know like sneakerheads like really like look for the drops and it's just like this whole big thing. And that's how I was with these pants and the brown ones. Like I bought them at separate times and I was like, okay, I'm glued to my phone right now. I'm going to get these pants and thankfully I got them. I don't know, I think it's because of the silhouette. Like it makes like your bottom half look like really like large, right? Because it's like a parachute. So then you're like waist, like everything, like you look snatched and it's just a good time. But I just like these pants regardless. I think they're so interesting. It has zippers so I can adjust 
like where my shoes end so it can like lay very nicely. I like how it's an adjustable waistband. Um, I don't know, Suki likes them too. She likes to go through them like a tunnel. It's a really like utilitarian look. Um, one of my biggest fashion inspos is Colleen Diaz and I feel like she would wear these pants and eat it up. So when I wear these, I like try to channel her. I'm like, yes, I'm as hot as Colleen. <laughs> my last Colleen favorite are these pairs of shoes. And when I saw them online, I like it was calling to me. I was like, okay, something like I feel something. I know that they look kind of like out there, but I don't know. I was like, I'm going to love these. And I was right. I was right. They look like buffaloes. Um, they're not, but it's like a kind of a like tan, like brownish color. And I don't have any shoes that look like this. I only really have like black and white shoes. It's not like a normal platform where everything's like super level. You can kind of see like how it, it's like higher here than here. So it kind of like gives like your legs like a really like elongated look because it kind of is like you're wearing high heels. And I just love having these babies peek out of any pants that I'm wearing. Your girl loves to accessorize so uh another one of my favorites has been these arm warmers this beautiful beautiful person on instagram actually sent these to me and she hand crocheted i think crocheted right um these like what the fuck like oh my god the talent like if i could do this i would be unstoppable for real but I love these arm warmers because they're very different like sometimes I'm not like a huge fan of wearing just like like the normal arm warmers because I feel like it doesn't really fit my style anymore so I thought these were perfect because I feel like they're kind of elegant in a way because of like the really dainty kind of stitching and everything that's going on I love the colors and wow wow I don't give a fuck if my hands are sweating right now like they are sweating but they're cute. Oh, also wanted to quickly mention that this tattoo is not real or any of these ones. I'm just playing around. <laughs> I guess kind of staying with my hands, I've been loving neutral nails lately. I feel like a medium length stiletto nail with a neutral design on it is so underrated. So I just thought I would talk about that here these vivian westwood earrings have had a chokehold on me for the past few months i love them so much i rotate with these ones and just like big hoops it's not too like flashy but then when people like look at it up close i think it looks just really nice with my observant amount of ear piercings my last favorite accessory has been this really fluffy bucket hat and i don't know i love it so much i know it's kind of like not everyone's taste like some people have made fun of me wearing it it's like whatever i like it's fine, you know, when you're experimenting with stuff, people will say their shit, it's whatever. I still love it so much. And I don't know, it's literally so big though. So I understand how it's like a little bit jarring for some people. I don't have it with me right now. It's my car, I'm too lazy to get it. Um, but I don't know, I feel like a, like a little like mushroom, like a mushroom head. The shape is very adorable and I think it really elevates like any outfit I put it with. Moving on to makeup and hair and all of that, I have this uh, eyeliner. Y'all know my eyeliner, like I do not mess around. Like I do this eyeliner look every day. So I'm always trying to look for like a new liner that I really like. And I love this one. It's the MAC and Lisa collab like from Blackpink. And I don't know, I just use like the black one. It is such a fine tip i use it exclusively in my inner corners and i absolutely love this brush so much it deposits the exact right amount of product and it's like not too much not too little so you're not like scraping for anything it has like a really really like sharp line and that's all i can ask for i don't know if you guys can tell but i have some lower lashes action going on and they're actually falsies you can actually get lower lash like strips and they've just been so fun for me to use because my natural lower lashes are non-existent they do take me 30 minutes to do so it has to be a very important day or outing where i will like do it but i just love the way that it makes me like look i feel like a little doll the last of makeup are these foundations i have this kosas one and this m cosmetics i started off with this m cosmetics Cosmetics because I love me a cushion foundation. Your girl has been watching so many K-dramas, so whenever like they have to like do something, they will always like put their cushion foundation. I've always wanted to feel like that. And I've always just wanted to try it anyways. I did have like an actual Korean brand um, that I really loved. I love the formula of it, but even in the darkest shade, it was still too light for me. So yeah, that kind of sucked. But uh, I have this one from M Cosmetics and I feel like the formula is still really good. And it's, I think a really good 
like color match but sometimes when i want a little bit more of a glowy finish i'm wearing it right now you can kind of see do i look oily I don't think so. I feel like I look hydrated. But what I'm using is like this one from Kosa. So I'll just put like a little bit on my finger, dab it on my face, and then use the cushion and go in. I'm trying to work so I can provide for you, okay? Can you please stop playing with my microphone? Thank you. Don't love beauty blenders. I don't like, I feel like there's always mold in them and I feel like it's easier to clean these ones. And I don't know, I just feel like it just like looks better on my skin and it still kind of gives me like the satisfaction of like using a cushion foundation without it actually being one. Moving on to hair. First, I have this dry bar blowout brush. Got like the smaller kind uh, because I kind of like a more like tighter curl. I don't know, I don't know. It just makes drying my hair like super easy and then I still feel like I'm put together. Another hair product is this Kenra Platinum Blow Dry Spray. And I spray this right before I use my blow dryer brush thing or just if i'm just gonna do a normal blow dryer if i'm too lazy to do the other one but this is the one that my hairstylist actually uses she sprayed in my hair and i was like girl what is that i need that because it smells so good it smells exactly like the salon like whenever i sprayed in my hair i'm like transported back it reduces the blow dry time by up to 50 percent and also has like heat protectant properties so it kind of just like all in one i can definitely vouch for this like making my hair dry a lot faster um i don't know i just i would rather not put so much heat on my hair so if i could reduce the time then i'm gonna do that and smell good moving on to skincare i absolutely love peach and lily i love the entire like product line specifically i love the glass skin kit i think that's what it's called i actually got like the mini one on ulta it was like only like 40 dollars. i thought i would try it out because it's like k-beauty or k-beauty inspired it's only four steps so you know it's kind of enough where you feel like mm, i'm pampering myself you know but it's also not like 15 steps where you have to spend like an hour doing it and um, when i'm doing that another one of my favorites is this little hello kitty headband it makes me excited to do my skincare as well like i don't know i just feel like who, who doesn't want to look like hello kitty oh and another one of my favorites from peach and lily is this super reboot resurfacing mask oh my god it does sting a little bit when you put it on like i put it on myself and martin sometimes and he'd be like fuck it stings but it's only for like five seconds i know this is like probably not true but when i feel like things like hurt on my skin i'm like ooh, it's working um so that's how i feel but it's not like placebo like the next day i wash my face and it will be so smooth there's like no bumps at all but it's not too irritating on your skin because you're only supposed to use it like once or twice a week another favorite of mine that's actually not a product is putting my hair up in this hairstyle it's kind of like a slick bun and if, even if you asked me to do this like four months ago i would say no never because i i don't know like my forehead is something i feel like i've always been like hiding like I got bangs like i was like okay no one's ever gonna see my forehead for the rest of my life until i decided i didn't want bangs anymore so then i was like oh, okay well <laughs> i guess i'll just get curtain bangs and so i've done that like whenever i put my hair like in claw clips i always have like those little bangs peeking out i especially like the little like hairs that i pull out right here so it makes it look a little bit like less polished i guess like not too like ballerina bun because uh, sometimes like my outfits like just won't match that hairstyle you know what else is a favorite of mine being able to see so thank you so much warby parker for sponsoring today's video warby parker is committed to providing exceptional vision care online and in stores with eyeglasses sunglasses contact lenses and eye exams glasses start at 95 dollars with prescription lenses which is perfect for our blind baddies out here <laughs> they have a free home try on you can just easily take a quiz so you can kind of figure out the kind of look you're going for there's no obligation to buy they ship free and they give you a prepaid uh shipping label so this is the first pair mysterious cute girl in the library she's wearing her cute glasses like i feel like that's this is what it gives you know this is the next pair and i think this is one of my favorite ones they're just a little bit wider which i think i like a lot better i wanted to try something different with these kind of more rectangular frames and i think she's cute too like 
yeah you can try five pairs of glasses for free at home at warbyparker.com slash jasmine moving on to entertainment which is like the part that i'm most excited to talk about today starting off with books i have the brown sisters trilogy right here she slays my favorite author is helen huang she wrote my favorite series and she actually like endorsed this series so i was like okay okay i trust her and she was right I really really like these um I feel like all the books that I have like all have the same like art style and like coloring so like kind of like all my books look the same but sue me for liking a rom-com with some smut sprinkled in okay like is the book worth reading if there's no smut like be honest okay <laughs> I really wish I could be one of those like wellness girls like reading super like intuitive books but it's just not for me like I love fiction. Moving on to TV shows and my top two are K-dramas. I love K-dramas with all of my heart. I remember when my mom used to watch K-dramas when I was like little but she would watch like the really like traumatizing ones like super sad and all that. I was like why the fuck would you ever watch this like what is the point until i like discovered like my kind of niche in k-dramas and it again romance and you know all of that because i eat that shit up and the first one is hometown cha 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 i was a bit hesitant watching it because at the first episode i was like i hate the main character like i love um like the male lead he also stars in one of my favorite k-dramas startup so i watched it also for him but the female lead's character like really grinded my gears um until like i kept watching it i was like oh i get what the hype is about and i was rooting for them so hard i ended up loving her by the end of it um and it was just so good baby you want to be on camera i mean i know a lot of people don't want to cry when they're like watching tv but like the highs are so good like you when oh. i'm like living vicariously through these people even though they're fake <laughs> the next k-drama is actually a new one and it's still ongoing and it's called 25 21 and the lead also starred in startup so i'm like my boys are getting there like they're making their rounds and they are killing it with all the k-dramas they're in and it's just so like wholesome but also i don't know like sad i guess i would say it's mostly slice of life obviously there's still some drama and sadness but it really reminds me of haikyuu which is my favorite anime because like both the leads are in sports and like everyone's telling them they can't do it they like shut them all up and they end up being like really really good and i don't know why am i into like sports anime or like k-dramas i could not tell you um sports in real life i could not give less of a fuck about but when it's in like these shows i i eat it up like it's also like weightlifting fairy so good so good a couple other ones are jane the virgin i am actually rewatching it right now for i think the third time <laughs> it's so i don't know it just makes me so happy all of the characters i love i think the storytelling is exquisite the comedy is amazing it's just a really great comfort show and my last show i'm gonna be talking about is bojack horseman oh my gosh i don't know why like i kind of just, I just never wanted to watch it when it actually came out because the animation style, like the art style, like really freaked me out. <laughs> I don't know, like the, it's kind of like unsettling. Once I actually watched it, I was like, oh, okay, I get it. I think I really like put it into a bubble of like Family Guy, like The Simpsons and stuff, which I'm like not like such a huge fan, but um, I love how Bojack has like a really cohesive story and all the messaging is amazing, even though sometimes it's sad and wow, it's just, I'm in awe every single time like I watch an episode sometimes I'll just put one on when I need need noise in the background but then I just end up like watching it the whole time because I'm like wow how did they make such a brilliant show Okay, so moving on to music, my top favorite artist has been Rex Orange County, and I'm pretty sure he was, like, mentioned in my last favorites video, but he's just so, like, he's just it for me, you know? Um, I'm actually seeing him in May, and I'm actually shitting my pants. I am so excited. I love that man so much. At this point of filming, he's only had two songs come out from his new album, and I loved each one of them 
so much like for me when i hear music for the first time sometimes i'll be like oh, i don't really like it like and then it grows on me and then becomes my favorite like with these two songs i was like okay yeah like these are these are bangers and i love them but my top favorite song from him is it's not the same anymore especially the live version on youtube i was actually crying i cried it was so beautiful he had a live orchestra even just like the recorded like studio version is so beautiful another kind of like random like soundtrack that i've been listening to a lot is burlesque like the burlesque movie soundtrack they did not have to go so hard with that it's so good it's so good it's the perfect hype album and the last thing is this digital camera i shoot so many photos with this i love like really just using it for flash and it also has video so it kind of gives like that camcorder feel um i did initially want like a normal like camcorder but i just like knew practically it just like wouldn't work for me because i wouldn't be able to just put it in my little bag and go so i think this one's like the perfect size i love the pictures it takes and it's a lot more affordable than film cameras i was a disposable film camera whore you know that but it was just too expensive for me so i feel like these kind of give like a similar look okay so i feel like i've been talking for an hour and a half now so hopefully this video is not too long but yeah i hope you enjoyed like listening to me ramble i guess i don't know i was just kind of going in circles i'm just really excited to tell you guys what i've been loving lately thank you again so much to warby parker for sponsoring today's video make sure to check them out at warbyparker.com jasmine i love you all so 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 much and i'll see you next time bye c'est l'histoire d'une fille pas trop compliquée pour une fois cherchant l'impossible elle trouva que c'était une bonne idée